You're watching News Night. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control says the ban on the importation, sale and use of alcoholic beverages in sachets and small plastic and glass bottles will not be lifted. Director General Moji Soladeye says the ban was put in place to save the lives of Nigerians. The enforcement of the ban will begin on alcohol in sachets or packaging that a child can easily conceal. Meanwhile, there are reports that angry drug hawkers attacked NAFDAQ members and mobile police officers attached to them in Abuja during a raid of fake and unregistered drugs. NAFDAQ seized drugs worth about 5 million naira. Well, the Food, Beverage and Tobacco Senior Staff Association is rejecting the ban on alcoholic sachet drinks. Uh, the group protested at the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control Headquarters. FOPTOP, that's the acronym for the group, an affiliate of the Trade Union Congress, that's TUC, says the protest, which began in uh, other states of the country, was uh, to reject the ban on sachet alcoholic beverages by NAFDAQ. Right, we have uh, the Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration, uh, Professor Mojisola Diege. Uh, she joins us now. Uh, thank you so much. Good to see you on News Night. Uh, first, tell us exactly why or the parameters for this ban. I mean, was it based on empirical evidence that uh, the sachet alcoholic beverages were really harmful to Nigerians? What, what exactly are your findings? Thank you so much for having me. Uh, before we start this conversation, I want us to think of children. Children in primary schools, secondary schools. Drinking alcohol in sachet or less than 200 ml PET bottles. Beer has 4 to 8 percent alcohol. The alcohol content in this sachet is 30 percent, 30 percent, six to seven times the amount of alcohol in beer. We did not ban alcohol in bigger containers. We are not against trade. We are banning alcohol as implementing agency under Ministry of Health in conjunction with Ministry of Trade. We are banning alcohol in such a and pet bottles less than 200 mils because these packages can be easily concealed. And we did not do this by ourselves. AFBTE, the Association of Food and Beverage as a Group, and DBAN, the Distillers Association, went to the Ministry of Health in 2018 to complain that we are planning to ban the use or to stop registration of alcohol in such a. And we had several meetings. At the end of it all, there was a document that was generated, an agreement that was signed by AFBTE and DBAN, the Distillers Association, that we should consider that they have machinery and people in the industry producing this alcoholic beverages in such a and less than 200 mil bottles that we, we should give them time. This was 2018 December. 
we, 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 we get that because uh, sorry to bot in here, uh, ma ma Madam, Madam DG. You, you know, it's a news show, so the time time constraints. So mm -hmm. I have to bot in. Apologies. Uh, I'm not a fan of alcohol by every standard, but again, let's be objective. Uh, listening to you, it's evident that you're placing the ban because of children uh, and not looking at the situation in the country at the moment, killing small businesses. If that is what it is, why don't you look at working uh, with other agencies to see how you can, you know, uh, cut back uh, such excesses or abuse uh, by children if you say you have it on record that children now buy alcohol. So this is clearly anti-business in Nigeria's uh, uh, situation of today. Thank you very much. The association, uh, the FBTE, the industry or the manufacturers signed an agreement for a five year phase out in 2018 that by the end of January 2024, they would not produce such a alcohol again. Those are the big businesses. The, the, the association are the big owners. Those are the big Our people. Em those are the big people, I beg your pardon, uh, uh, Professor, those are the big people trying to clean out small businesses from, uh, from the market, clearly. So when they sit down, did we have a representative of these small-time business people who are dealing in such alcohol? Because I actually thought that is because of the content going into such uh, that is bad. That was why Ngozi was asking if there is any empirical evidence showing that it is harmful to take alcohol from such uh, or pet bottles. It is harmful because it can be easily concealed. You can imagine your child, a primary school child, concealing the sachet in the pocket. I was talking with a principal two days ago, and he, she said that they normally seize those sachet packages with alcohol inside them from children. That some of, sometimes this child, a child may consume up to seven during the day, during school hours. So you can imagine your child going to s primary school, concealing it. The, it. It's been highly documented by all international agencies that any child that starts alcohol or start drinking alcohol at a young age will very likely abuse substances, we be drug abusers, right. and alcohol can cause almost 200 types of diseases. Which one do we want? Well, uh, let me come in, A if I may, if I may at this healthy. point. Unfortunately, uh, not that much time. But aren't you concerned that the protesters who are saying, I mean, who actually picketed at the NAFDAQ uh, office, you know, they're saying, look, about 500,000 jobs will be lost if NAFDAQ goes ahead you know, with this ban. That's a question on the one hand I'd like you to respond to. Are you concerned that about 500,000 jobs may be lost? And does NAFDAQ have the capacity to actually uh, enforce uh, this ban across the country? How do you plan to go about the, the uh, enforcement? Thank you very much. NAFDAQ is business friendly. We have attracted through our five plus five policy through local manufacturing encouragement, we have attracted billions of businesses into the country in the pharma sector. So we are business friendly. I don't dis divorce, I don't distinguish between quality of products that we approve and trade. So I just want to get it established that we are business friendly. We gave five year notice if an association did not yes. disseminate please, please. that information please, please. to the other uh, groups in their, in, their, in their association, then that's a problem. We gave five year notice. Please phase this out because our children will have liver cirrhosis, because our children, by the time they get to 20, 20 something, they may be having cancers. Which one do we want? We want children to die or we want money. 
in we other words, in other words, it looks. We did this overnight. In other words, if we truly want to say we want to safeguard our children, we should also safeguard the parents. So you're not having a blanket ban on alcohol, but you're looking at the children, leaving the adults. And it comes back to business. NAVDAC is truly not looking at the small businesses, and that's where I want us to address. We're not talking about, if you want to talk about controlling the children, there are ways we can actually control people who buy alcohol. We have other agencies, standards organization, and people who can actually, we're talking about morality against business here, Professor, but it doesn't, it falls flat listening no, to you no, that this no, no, clearly... We are, not talking, we are not talking about morality against business, please. We are not. FCCPC was one of the co-signers of this agreement. That is Ministry of Trade. Ministry of Trade was part of this signatory. So we didn't do the... We are just implementing. Ministry of Health signed this agreement. So we have to balance life and... Money, which one do we want as a country? Position we of have to uh, answer that question. Right. In terms of enforcement, we're right. going to enforce. We will continue to enforce. Thank you. How, how do you plan to go about the enforcement? And is it really NAVDAQ's place to you know, decide on branding and you know, what uh, an, a company can uh, you know, deal on or not? Because that seems to be what NAVDAQ is trying to do here. NAVDAQ's mandate is to regulate and control, regulate and control the manufacture, the importation, exportation, distribution, advertisement, sale, and use of food. Alcohol uh, is partly food and drug. Alcohol is a drug. That is our mandate. We are given that power by the law. And our uh, parent agencies agreed on this. And we co-signed this agreement five years ago. Madam that DG, by the end if, of January 30, 30, 31, again. Madam DG, it are you saying out. Are you saying that these alcoholic beverages, though in sachets, have been circulating without NAVDAQ uh, numbers? Is that what you're saying? Without NAVDAQ registration? Uh, what exactly is the status of this uh, products up until now? The, the products were registered. By NAVDAQ? We gave them five years to face... Yes, yes. Okay. We gave them five years to face it out. That is considering business. That is considering loss of job. But that started five years ago. Well, I, I, I wonder if how this... If you say that it is the big companies... Yeah. yeah. I, I wonder how that works. What then happens to the caveat not to be sold to persons under 18, 18. on those products? Is it possible to enforce that? Are you going to get a driver license? In so Nigeria, you, so you, you, you come back. You come back to my. You come back to my point, uh, Professor. For the fact you're not able to enforce this, does not mean people will go out of business. We will and enforce. I, I'll say we this will enforce it because uh, we are going. I'll say this just categorically. A uh, so, sorry to cut you there. Sorry, I'll say this categorically that the APC and its appointees must have this in mind that people are losing businesses and since this business is not a criminal business or something harmful you cannot with a fiat ban people from selling the small small business that they already have not that must have a rethink i th i think you are not actually understanding what i'm aiming at beer if you drink beer is five to eight percent alcohol the one in Sache is 30%. 30, right. three zero. Please think through that. A child goes to school and is drunk. We were talking, a, a neurosurgeon or neuropsychiatric doctor was talking uh, on NTA with me last week. And they said they wish those who are protesting should come to Zaria Neuropsychiatric Hospital and come and see the mess that this such alcohol has made where parents cannot sleep in the night because they don't know whether their children will come and attack them. 
That is what we are talking about. It's not about morality. Anybody that wants to drink alcohol can drink alcohol above that age. But when packages can be easily concealed and children in primary school are, take, and, and taking, are right. taking this to school, okay. concealing them, then we have to think which one do we want. Yeah, I mean, you make Life a very good point. Madam, Madam DG, we'll have to let you go. But very quickly, how do you guarantee uh, that NAVDAC staff in carrying out uh, this enforcement uh, will not be uh, compromised uh, since these manufacturers, they do have deep pockets too and they could compromise your staff. What are you doing on that end, very quickly? Well, if, that's, you, if you think that can happen, maybe uh, you are not thinking about the regulator. Any staff that is caught getting bribed will be summarily dismissed. We have dismissed a lot of our staff, a few of our staff, for violating our own regulations. So the, the big companies may have deep pockets to bribe, but our own job is to regulate and protect, safeguard the health of the nation. Right, Madam Director General of NAVDAC, thank you so much for joining us on uh, News Night tonight. Mujisola Adeye, Professor, thank you so much for joining us.